Welcome to Oftech, your expert in organic surface protection. The centerpiece of the plant is the control post. Here, all relevant data from the logistics and the KTL control system are gathered. State-of-the-art IT systems guarantee a smooth and in-time process matching the highest quality standards. Depending on the material, its geometry and the respective specifications, the pieces are run through a number of basins for cleaning and pretreatment before the actual coating process is started. In order to achieve the optimal coating result, it is possible to choose among a large variety of processes. After the pieces have been coated, they are forwarded to the low-bake oven. Here, the varnish is transformed into a homogeneous closed film. Our state-of-the-art environmental technology, such as thermal afterburning, heat recovery, wastewater reduction, as well as the recycling of raw materials, reflect our responsibility towards the environment. Let's return to our basket. With the help of a DTV driverless transport vehicle, it is forwarded to the KTL enameling line. Now we will follow this basket through a couple of process stages in the KTL enameling line. On delivery to the KTL enameling line, the basket is scanned and all relevant data are transmitted to the control post of the line. In order to guarantee that the repeat quality of the coating remains at the highest level at all times, the parts have to be pre-treated in various basins. With an automatically controlled loading device, the basket is transported to the first basin, the immersion degreasing basin. The immersion degreasing process consists of several basins needed to degrease the parts and to reduce alkalinity. When the parts are immersed, grease and dirt particles dissolve at a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius. These particles are filtered from the basin continuously. The recycled liquid is reintroduced into the basin, which leads to a continuous medium cycle. After the first pre-cleaning process, the parts are automatically forwarded to the spray degreasing basin. With the help of high-pressure nozzles, the parts are cleansed from remaining dirt particles. Moreover, alkalinity on the parts is reduced further. Here again, the cleaning liquid is filtered continuously and reintroduced into the process. After having passed through numbers of additional immersion cleaning basins, the basket is introduced into the pickling basin. In this basin, alloyed or slightly alloyed parts are immersed into a sulfuric acid-based metallic mordant. This pickling process derusts, descales and pickles the parts and creates a highly reactive metal surface. Following a couple of additional cleaning processes, the surface of the parts is activated by immersion into a special titanium phosphate liquid. 
This treatment causes increased nucleation on the metal surface and leads to a quicker layer formation of smaller crystals with a lower layer weight. When the activation process is finished, the charging basket is transported to the phosphatizing basin. The layer of phosphates built up on the parts during the phosphatizing process serves mainly as a wetting agent for the KTL coating process, as well as to increase resistance against corrosion. Using an aqueous, acidic and phosphoric solution, the process aims to build up a strong layer of phosphates on the surface of the parts. This close-up of the surface illustrates the creation of the phosphatic layer. The reaction ends when the entire surface is covered with a layer of phosphates. After a couple of immersion processes, the basket is forwarded to the passivation basin. The passivation process serves to increase the density of the phosphatic layer on the surface. The close-up of a cut through the surface of the part shows how the structure of the surface refines as a result of the passivation process. The next step of the process is the actual cathodic dip varnishing, or KTL coating. The flocculation of the varnish is caused by a chemical conversion of the binder, also called coagulation. Coagulation is caused by current conduction. From an outer anode, current flows via the conductive varnish to the part. This current conduction leads to coagulation of the varnish and is then, as one can see in the close-up, driven towards the part. The thickness of the layer can be determined very precisely, employing two parameters, current strength and time. If the predefined thickness of the layer has been achieved, it acts as an insulator and stops coagulation. This process results in an uneven porous layer on the part. This layer will then transform into a homogeneous closed film in the low-bake oven. After the KTL coating process, the parts are rinsed in several stages with an ultrafiltrate. This process eliminates varnish residues from the surface of the part, which are then returned into the varnish basin. After the rinsing process has been finished, the basket with the parts is forwarded to the low-bake oven. Transportation to the low-bake oven is fully automatic. It is known that warm air spirals upwards. To profit from this fact, the charging basket is introduced into the low-bake oven from the bottom up. This reduces energy costs and is environmentally friendly. The basket with the parts passes through the low-bake oven within 90 minutes. This exceeds the time requested by varnish manufacturers threefold. As a result of this extensive retention time in the low-bake oven, we can guarantee the requested object temperature of 180 degrees Celsius, even for large and heavy parts. This close-up shows a detail of the surface of a part during the low-bake process. During this process, the irregular and porous varnish layer transforms into a homogeneous, even closed varnish film. After the low-bake process has ended, the basket is removed from the oven on the opposite side and is forwarded to the cooling line. The cooling line has two functions. First of all, it serves to cool down the parts and secondly, it serves as a temporary storage and sorting facility before the parts are returned to the workplace. As soon as the cooling process is over, the baskets are transported to a handling area where they are picked up by a DTV and forwarded either to a buffer station or directly to the workplace. Oftec stands for surface technology that matches the highest demands for the reliability of your products.